Hello drivers and welcome. I'm so glad you found me. Have you ever done a stacked order on any of the food delivery apps, most notably on Uber Eats? So a couple things to consider. Is that a good idea? And what are the potential consequences by accepting those two orders? And I'll bet it's something you haven't thought about. Hello and welcome. My name is Russ and I've been doing this part-time for almost six years, so I've got a lot of experience and I love sharing it with you. So when it comes to accepting two orders at the same time, of course on the same app, um, there are some considerations. The first is money. Obviously, that's why we do it. You want to make more money. If that app's going to offer you the first pickup and then an add-on for a good amount of money going a little bit further, then it's a no-brainer because you're already driving that way. But... Uber Eats is notorious for not giving you all the trip information, so I caution you that second order, you're actually not going to be able to make a good judgment because they're not going to give you all the details, just some miles and money. So think carefully before you accept it. This happened to me recently when I was doing a double stack, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, the main thing is that I wasn't paying attention and I assumed that where the order, the second order was going to go was in the general area of the first and this wasn't the case. So this is a prime example of why you have to pay close attention and you may not always want to accept a stacked order. On Uber Eats, I used to do this and I probably should do it more. When you accept your first order, just go ahead and say accept no more orders. That way they won't try to sneak an order in that may not be good for you as the driver. The second and main point of this video, have you ever considered the customer can see every place you go? So that first customer, when they're expecting their food, they're expecting you to bring it to the location where they're at. Now, when you do a stacked order, Uber Eats doesn't necessarily tell the customer that, hey, you've also got another customer you're delivering for. And I know times have changed. Maybe the other apps do notify the customer. But either way, I have firsthand experience with this as a customer. I placed an order on Uber Eats and I could see the driver go to the restaurant and then he should have turned right to come towards me. But instead on the map, you could see him go straight ahead and he went somewhere else to pick up another order. Now, when I got my food, I'm already a driver, so I know what was going on. But as the average customer, I don't think you'd be very pleased to think that the driver is just going on a joy ride. And incidentally, because of that second stop, my food was warm. It could have been much warmer had that driver delivered it right to me. So try to put yourself in the customer's place when you have those two customers. Both of them may be actually expecting you to bring their order directly. And so how do you manage this? One thing that I used to do, and actually I haven't done it too much since then because it is troublesome, you can craft a message and save it and send it to each of them as you can when you're delivering to say something to the effect of, I have another customer I'm dropping off and then next I'll drop off your order. That way at least if they're checking their messages, they're going to see that and they may give you the benefit of the doubt. Now, I will say it is cumbersome to do this, and especially on other apps, it's a little bit different. Um, over the years, I really have stopped doing this, and most of the time it's been okay. But keep in mind, you're risking your tip from both customers. Each customer may think that they're the most special customer out there, and you should be delivering it directly. So they may reduce or take away your tip. What happened to me personally, which is why I'm making this video for you, I had a double stack order. It started off where I was going to a restaurant for some chili fries and maybe a chili dog. I don't remember. I'll put the screenshot up here. But you know it's chili and french fries, and that can't really sit for long. As I was headed to the restaurant, Uber Eats sent me this follow-on order, and this was to Vaughn's for a flower delivery, so I accepted it. Again, I was really assuming that it was in the same general area, and you know, I'll just tell you that now, it wasn't. Basically, the pickup was within a mile of the drop-off, and then I headed the opposite way, about 10 miles away or so. So, oh well, I didn't pay that close of attention. 
but that first customer knew that I was picking up a, a delivery. It was from another town, those chili fries, and driving this long way. And then I'll bet you she was displeased when she saw I should have been near her house, but here I go about a quarter or half a mile away and I stop at a grocery store. What does she think I'm doing? And when I ended up getting to her house, I could hear her outside on her patio talking on the phone. And, you know, for what it's worth, she was drinking and smoking and on the phone. And she paid no attention to me. I still said hello and then gently placed the bag on the other side of the fence. And all I can think of is that she probably already wasn't in a good mood. And therefore, she reduced my customer rating. So other than your tips, customer rating may also be negatively affected if that customer is going to take out their frustration on you. And I'm sure this makes sense to you, right? If you're just doing one order, you get there quickly and drop off, the customer's happy. But when, from their perspective, you're playing around or who knows what you're doing, then you're giving them cause to doubt, and this could reflect in your customer rating. So for a very long time, I've had 100% customer service rating, and then it dropped to 99 several months ago. And then just here this last week or so, it did drop, and I had only done a couple orders. So yeah, I can't prove it was her, but I'm pretty sure it was, just because of the timing of the orders. And again, I have experience, so I'm pretty sure it was her. So whether you're a new driver or experienced, keeping these tips in mind is important because when you're out on the road, you want to help your customer and you want to make the most money you can and have good ratings. And sometimes the decisions that you make, you know, the app's not going to care about you. They're just trying to feed you orders to get their cut of the business. They actually don't really care whether you make money or if you suffer from poor customer ratings. This is something as an independent contractor, you are going to have to pay attention to and keep this in mind. Is that really a good idea to be accepting a double stack order? So I'm sure you can imagine there's a lot of frustrations out there doing food delivery. Oh, and real quick, if you are getting value, please do subscribe to the channel and like this video. It really does help YouTube get this out to all drivers like you. So thank you. I do appreciate it. As I was saying, there are frustrations when doing food delivery and... I, I really need to take my own advice. So if you want to learn about some of those frustrations, especially dealing with earnings and workload, then check out this video next. Thanks, and I'll see you there.